fact that I just realized that I can do voiceovers in this is kind of hilarious. What's going on, guys? It is Elijah. I also go by Ezra, um, which is my pen name. Anyways, welcome to another journal entry vlog. Today, we're not doing a vlog. We're not doing a doodle. We're doing a write with me, I suppose. So I sat down and set up the camera. Uh, in this case, set up my phone, filming down onto the pad of paper that I am using to uh, write the chapters of Write Her Murder. If you don't know what that is, um, it's the novel that I've been working on for the last little while. As of today, February 22nd, I revealed the cover. Um, of the book and the, what's it called? And the title of the book. So the book cover and the title was revealed today over on my Instagram. Um, and I'm, I'm very proud of how it came out without giving too much away because obviously I don't want to give away what I'm writing about and what the story is about. But what I will say is, it follows the life, I guess, of the main character, whose name is Noel Salvatore. Um, he's a kid who works in a bookshop. Um, and he meets... It's it's like a boy meets girl. Uh, boy and girl fall in love. Girl moves away. Boy... Also moves away, comes back, and then all hell breaks loose. Um, so your typical, uh, 2020 teenage, uh, sitcom, no, not sitcom, uh, d drama, uh, novel thing. I don't know. I, it's real, it's, I don't know how to explain this. I wasn't planning on doing this, um, video. I want to do another video talking more about it, but I think that's why I don't like know what to talk about because I don't have things planned. Um, in this video, um, in the background of this video, as you can see, I'm writing, I am writing a part in the book that is a therapy session where Noel is talking to his therapist. Um, but it's, I guess it's not really talking if he's not being open. Noel is the kind of person who can talk and talk and talk. He's into books. He's into writing. But when it comes to being open about things, he can't find the words to talk about. So, um, going in or going on from the scene, it would lead into everything that would, I guess, happen later in the book. So... This would start the road from going from point A to point B. I hope that makes sense. I'm not entirely sure. It's late at night when I'm doing this. And I'm trying to uh, explain it as best as I could. <laughs> so it basically is me. I'm rewriting the beginning of the first chapter. Um, I, I, I tend to write like a chapter, read it over, and if I don't like it, I'll rewrite it. If I like it, I'll leave it. Or if I like some bits, I'll take some bits and then rewrite the entire thing. That's what I did with the prologue. I've rewritten, rewritten that like three times, which is kind of funny. Um, I'm still not satisfied with it. So I wasn't satisfied with how I started the first chapter. So... Now I'm going and I'm rewriting it with a therapist scene of Noel basically talking about meeting the girl that he meets like five years prior who just disappears off the face of the earth, never to be seen again. Um, and then his therapist basically he just puts him on the podium and just goes to town on him. And basically, that's what any therapist does. And 
<sighs> tells them when they're not being open about something or when they're having trouble talking about stuff. So a typical one-on-one -on -one therapy session. I'm trying to do this in a way that doesn't blow the pl like the whole thing of the story um, and ex like spoil it. But I'm actually quite enjoying what <laughs> that's not proper English. I'm really enjoying uh, writing this. It's strange when I first went to write this. I wanted to. I knew the character was going to be a writer. I knew he worked in a bookshop. What I didn't realize was halfway through writing the prologue, or writing a bit of dialogue for the character, he turned. He's supposed to be the nice and supportive character in the, um, in the book. Turns out he has a uh, dark side, which. I accidentally wrote. By accident, um, I was writing it, and then I read it over, and kind of came across as this ki this guy is being stalkerish, um, and kind of creepy. And now I'm playing on that where he basically is the nice and caring person, but he also has a side that no one knows about, um, and I. Can't wait to rewrite it and continue to write this novel uh, to polish it up and make it better for all of you when I finally do release it. I don't know what I'm saying. Um, there's a lot of work I still have to do with this and I just want to try to smooth out things before going ahead and saying it's done. And I am... I, I do believe in going through stuff and, um, what's it called, making sure that everything's smooth and works well before I uh, publish it or do anything. But it, it's fun. I've, I've written various short stories in the past and started writing various novels this past year um, in 2020, so... Being able to sit down and get like into a zone and write about this stuff, it's kind of interesting and kind of inspiring at the same time for myself. Um, I'm not one to share my writing, like, I don't really share it that often, but in the I thought this was a cool way of uh, just talking about the book and uh trying not to spoil the book by talking about it um, before releasing a video down the line going in more depth of the characters and everything else.